BG, BG been down for a minute, but it's like he might be getting ready to come home soon. Tell me about your relationship with BG. Um, well, really, I like I just I just was around Jesus, like the day of my daddy's funeral and stuff. Okay. Like he really had me on his wing that day, but we don't really have no real relationship. I got a relationship with his kids, you know what I'm saying? Like with a lot of his kids, not just the main ones. People know, like look, Chris, Ty, you know, I got to like. I was, when I was going to Jackson State, I met one of his other big mamas, and she introduced me to one of his other sons that he had. His name Chris, too. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Um, he got a daughter I done met. Like, I done met a couple of his kids, and they just took a liking into me, but me and T.Y., we the same age. Um, we met, like, on Canal Street. You know, T.Y., he, he was with Jet Life. You know what I'm saying? Um, he started doing his own thing, S.O.G., but Chris... T.Y. and Chris got the same mama. So Chris was just, and you know, that's that's basically his junior. That's BG Jr. You got know you. what I'm saying? Like they got that's that's his junior. You I, feel I, me? I always wonder, and maybe you can answer this a little bit. Um, because I mean you look at BG, you look at the hot boys, you look at the success, but he's in prison. Facts. And he was like, he it seemed like he hustled backwards. He'd be like, what happened? Because I know BG was in Detroit. I'm from Detroit. Yeah. Once he moved there, I was like, why would he move to Detroit? But then I know why he went to Detroit. But you'd be like, what, bro, you made, I would assume you made millions. Why go back to the streets? He ain't make millions. Mm. Uh, if he would have made millions, he wouldn't have took it, he wouldn't have took it that approach. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> at the time when he loved cash money, like when they was having their fallouts, you gotta look at like you look at the timeline. Yeah, they probably like they projects was going gold or you know, but Cash Money was just getting their deal to what Birdman had just said, when I get out of here, I'm trying to have like two, three billion, and I need everybody under me to have three, four hundred million. You feel me? Yeah. At least a hundred M's. He said that then. But a lot of them ain't even stick around for the long haul for what he really had. Only person really stuck around was Wayne. You feel me? Then they went through they fall out. Yeah. But what I can say about Birdman from, man, he made sure all them dudes were straight. Even to the point when BG come home, Jesus, straight. You, you Do you think he going to make BG? Because, I mean, a lot of people feel like he ain't take care of Turk. Man, look. When Turk came Man, home. Turk got what was due to him. Turk, he got his proper play. He, he got his due. He, yeah, he got what was due to him. Everybody got what was due to him. Even mm -hmm. Juvenile. Man, Juvenile told me firsthand, like, man, yeah, he's still with cash money. You think he gonna keep going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dude playing games? No, man, them dudes about their business. 